Yes, and uh, you know, we are in July. So we are like in the second half of 2019. And guys made a list. I don't know. Guys made the list at the beginning of year. Tunakwanga so psyched, so energetic, so full. So we make list, resolution list. So and there's always this desire in all of us. All of us have a desire to change. So we either want to change physically, emotionally. Uh, we want to improve on our finances. We want to start new businesses. We want to grow spiritually. It's just our nature. It's our. De we have that desire to change. Uh, and some of us usually make a list at the beginning of the year, about, about December 31st. Tuna, tuna maze to make list. We are going to move houses. We are going to grow spiritually. We are going to 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 begin new businesses. We are going to. As in, we make. What I mean is just we make a list of things that we want to see changing and experiencing new things in our life. And uh, and I know you and me, we made resolutions. I also did a made a, make a resolution at the beginning of the year. And my question to you on this day, are you there yet? Are you there yet with the resolution? Did you implement them? I'm all easy, so how? So, uh, so we remain, we, we remain <clears throat> in the same place. Okay, sorry, but my question is like, are you there yet? Or are you still in the same position like yesterday? So, so if God has put that desire in us, because I know, I believe it's God who put that desire in us to change. He also, also does not want us to remain in the same place. For instance, Abraham. Before Abraham was called Abraham, when God found him and called him, he was Abraham. He even changed his name. You see, he did not remain the same. He changed from Abraham to Abraham. Before that, before, before he changed to Abraham, as he was called Abraham, he was an idol worshiper. And we read today that Abraham was the father of faith. So he changed and grew spiritually. He continued walking with the Lord. That's why he's referred to as father of faith. So here are the things you can do not to remain the same because you cannot, do not allow, as in, just do not allow yourself to remain the same or in the same position because we, we need to experience that change because change brings rest. Okay, do not allow yourself to remain in the same place and the same position. So this is a call this morning, this afternoon, this is a call for you and me to move on, to change, to implement those resolutions that we made. And how can you do that? We can do that by rising up right now, rising up right now and do something different. Because they say a foolish person does the same thing over and over again and expects change. You cannot change if you do the same thing over and over again. So do something different. If you're used to walking, uh, running for that morning run because you want to lose some weight, if you're used or you want to keep fit, if you're used to walking, running like four kilometers about, you go an extra mile, go five. And notice the difference. Also, also set realistic resolution. The one that you can handle, you can manage. You cannot just set resolutions and you, hey, at a peer when I was like, ooh, I'm used to making 10, 10K per week in this business, but I want to make one million per week. That's not pos possible. So make resolutions that are very realistic and uh, you can actually achieve them. So also, also ask for support. They say if you want to walk faster, walk alone. But if you want to walk further, walk with someone. So ask for support, uh, get accountability partner, get a friend, ask for support from your parents, from your friends, for people around you. There are, all those, there are people who are just willing to support you. So ask for support and also go an extra mile. I've spoken about this. Go an extra mile. Don't just sit there and do the same thing over and over and expect different results. Uh, go an extra mile. Do something different. As in just do something different. And I know making resolutions is just a matter of the renewal of your mind. If you read Romans chapter 12, verse 2, it says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Nothing else. Renewal of your mind. You can make resolution at the, any point of the year. Guys make resolution at, the, at their birthday. So you can make resolution at any point of your life. See your lazima pale 31st December and the second week of January you've forgotten about them. You can make at any point of your life. All that matters is your mind, your state of mind. If you can encourage yourself and keep on reminding yourself every morning that I made resolution, I need to implement them. Okay, and finally, evaluate your progress. 
very important. Evaluate, keep on evaluating your process, uh, your progress. So after two months or after two weeks, it doesn't matter how, how, how often you evaluate, just evaluate yourself. After a few, few months, a few days, keep on, go back and check your lists. How far have you gone with the resolution? How far are you? So, so that you can, if you see Kamo Mekwama, you, you improve on those things, on mistakes you made. So keep on evaluating yourself. Alafu, do not be hard on yourself when you have made no progress at all. See, last Sunday I shared my resolution in 2018. So the entire of 2018, I was just flat. There was no change in me. So do not be hard on yourself. I wasn't, I didn't beat myself up that I haven't transformed or changed in any way of my life. I did not beat myself up. I encouraged myself. I was like, 2019, there's still room for change. So I kept on praying. And they say the Holy Spirit is there to enable us. The Holy Spirit, as in, the Holy Spirit does the work that it's supposed to do. So you need the Holy Spirit. Or pray to God always. Make a list, evaluate yourself, and pray to God. And all those resolutions, change of mind, they will be implemented. I love commit. Commit all your plans to the Lord. Commit all your plans. Like in the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 3, which says, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish them. Let's commit our plans to the Lord. It doesn't matter which time of the year you make those, resolution, those resolutions, as much as you implement them and commit them to the Lord, they will be established. Hope you've been encouraged. And let's not stop this conversation here. Twenty Nipale, Facebook, we talk to each other. Let's speak to each other on Facebook, JC Sako Show. Keep on sending your resolution as much. Uh, you tell us how you've been, your progress so far, and we encourage each other. Nick, situation mm. apple.